You've got to wear those when you drive. <laughs> Stop. Stop with your shenanigans. Everybody stand back. Is there a fire extinguisher? Fire extinguisher. Here we go. So we've done a little bit of cleaning. <laughs> there it is. Wow. All right. See the program. Once it's run, we can park it over here and then go get it step side, use that same trailer. Here's the thing, that trailer is so low to the ground, I think that's gonna be a way to get his truck. Well, that's a good point. The lower the better. That's a good I mean, point. That, truck, that, that thing is low. That's a low trailer, which is awesome. Nice. So we couldn't help ourselves. And uh, you know, we just have this nice red top Optima battery sitting here and. Uh... Hey, why not? Let's see if, uh, well, first of all, we don't know if this has any juice in it, but let's just see something makes noise. We don't even know what the switches do. We don't know anything. I'm gonna pull the light switch out. Oh. No way. Yep. All right, two switches on the dash. I don't know what they do. That's, well, that's that's the fan water pump mechanism. Finger chopper 5000. Ooh, you hear that? That's the line lock. Oh, and it came on. No way. Look, all the gauges came on. It's got 11 volts. Okay. But everything came to life with the key. It still works. The oil light on the dash is the original 1972 like oil light that would come on when you turn the uh, key on, it works. So back in the old days, I don't know if you've ever seen these before. Have you ever seen these? Mm, I don't think so. So these are shift light pills. 
So, so right, <laughs> see way. this right here? Yeah. So that's, shift light is at 6,200. Oh. So, because he, his shift light is separate from his tack, you had to plug in these pills hmm. to tell you to, to work the shift light, so. Oh, the dash is completely intact, I love it. We got the story on the yellow glasses. They're for nighttime. <laughs> but, <laughs> not, no, it didn't go well though, remember? He said it blinded him, it was so bright. So the, the title said uh, in, was it 88? I think it was 1988 when he bought the car and it had, had 96,000 miles on it. And he told us some interesting stories that his, it was actually his son's car in high school. He drove it to high school. And then once he graduated high school, he went down south. So I think he went to Mississippi first for a while and then he went to Florida. And then I guess he wanted the car back. So they went down to Florida, picked this car up and drove it all the way back. And uh, you know, a 318 two barrel, you know, it made it, but. They said it was hot because it didn't have air conditioning. And so it was kind of cool that it, it had a decent amount of road miles, but the car is, yeah, the sheet metal is just unbelievably intact. I mean, there's just no rust on the car that I found yet. You've got to wear those when you drive. <laughs> <laughs> so the only, uh, we got a little bit of ugliness right here. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, these These cars, this, the spray coming off of the back tires tended to really do a number on those uh, trunk extension pans. So we'll have to fix that up a little bit. But the only sheet metal on the car that's been modified is the bottom of the spare tire well uh, that got cut out for a fuel cell. Typical, I mean, it was bracket stuff that every bracket car got. When these plastic fuel cells came out, they all got it. So not surprised, but this is an easy fix actually. Uh, they actually sell the bottom of the pan, just the bottom. You Are just, you gonna put a stock tank back in it or what? I, I'm thinking about it. I, I really am. Um, yeah, I, I think I would. And I think what I would do is I would take a stock tank and put a sump in it. So you can actually buy a sump that you weld in. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're not using the stock pickup uh, tube and all that. I don't wanna do that. Right. Um, we'll see. I mean, I, I, I might put a stock tank back in it. At least this was an 850. I can't remember. I think so. Eight, 850 on a 340. I'll have to look up the part number, but it's a Holly strip dominator intake, single plane. It's, as far as I know, that was the best single plane intake out for a small block. Chrysler. Okay. He is on. Oh yeah. That it? I heard something turn on back here. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Cool. We got fuel pumpage. We got fuel pumpage. My exhaust leak is getting worse by the day. No kidding. Like today's the day it's gonna do it. Like. Got it. I don't know. It scares the death out of me. Okay, okay. What are you gonna do with that? I was I was under strict orders to bring the scrub. And the whole car needs lowered about four inches. Well yeah. Here we go! Look at that. Oh Look at gosh. us go. I'm so excited to see it clean. It looks really good. The paint is actually in pretty good shape. I'm noticing some little dents here and there mm -hmm. that we couldn't see because it was so dirty. But you're good. Yeah, you 
got that right. Yeah, this thing is too tall. Q for queen. <laughs> He's a queen. He's a good band. Make yourself useful and stop. Stop with your shenanigans. Hey, Tip, that's a cool hoodie. Where'd you get that? From my two favorite YouTubers. GentryGarage.com. Dot com. Like and subscribe. She gets it. She's in the zone right now. We are going to, since this thing sat so long, we need to prime it. We've uh, got the engine on top dead center, pull the distributor out, prime it, and then we'll, we'll check valve lash. Well, I really don't think they're that far off, but, um, but you should. We gotta mark the distributor so we know where to time it, just for a ballpark. Is... Don't worry about that glue, because um, it'll come right off and break from you. It just keeps going at his bus tray. <laughs> you know what? When you look up the word ridiculous in the dictionary, her picture's right there. Hey, Tommy, don't worry about the glue. Brake cleaner will bring it right off. That's what I heard. <sighs> Nicely done. Thank you, thank you. Well, I'm sure we could find some. Oh, oh, oh. Power it. There you go. He's probably good at what's that, what's that game, Surgeon? He's probably good oh, at Surgeon. Oh, Operation. Operation. <laughs> surgeon. Zzz. Surgeon. Zzz. Sorry. <laughs> surgeon. <laughs> you guys knew what I was talking about. Okay? I'm glad she's mocking you for once because she's been on a roll. I almost had to spray her with the water out there. She's getting a little too feisty. It, it's not too late. <laughs> we got it ready to prime, so we're going <laughs> to. Give it oil pressure, and then we'll want to check the oil pressure gauge. Um, see how kind of oil pressure. But we're gonna actually see oil. We'll see oil start to come out here on the valve train once we get pressure here. So this goes clear down into the oil pump, all the way down into the bottom of the pan, and then it's already grabbing. So it should oil that side first. Okay. Should see. Oh yeah, there it goes. I hear it. So. What you're gonna, you're gonna see oil start to come out from the shaft because the way these work on a, on a Mopar, the bottom of the rocker shaft underneath the rocker arm is where the oil comes out and that's what oils the rockers. So you're gonna start to see oil squirt out from everywhere once we get pressure, which we're getting pressure now. Oh, okay. You see it? There yeah, we go. It's coming through. Yep, there yeah, you go, right there. <laughs> Thirty. Thirty. Hit up just under forty. Oh. They actually put glitter in there. Did you know that? Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Everybody stand back. Is there a fire extinguisher? Fire extinguisher. Okay. Here we go. You and Craig love to do that. Oh, that's cool. The kid in the candy please store. On it. <laughs> yeah, God, it's it sounds like a tractor. Whoa! Uh, that's a problem. What? what? Oh, it just came out of the vent.
So Ooh. we're taking it for a drive. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it moves. It runs, it moves. How cool is that? How about that? <laughs> wow. See, I bet there's a bunch of rust back here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's normal. Yeah, <laughs> everything that was in the headers comes out. Nice. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Good for us. <laughs> All right, well, we gotta sweep the floor again. It runs! We did a thing! We did a thing! <laughs> How much oil pressure did it have? 70 pounds. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That's a race motor out there. She's healthy. Good for us. I, I, that's awesome, man. Look at this car. Look at it. Did you just look at it? We could look at it. Come on. Holy cow, Batman, you're gonna wake up the whole freaking city of Newark. <laughs> you know you got reverse lights? No. Yeah, you not. do. <laughs> I swear to you, 15 minutes ago, I was like, you should you should just go take it around the garage. And he's like, oh, no, I got no brakes. No, <laughs> no. He's out there trying to do burnouts. This is literally, that that front brake over there is the only one that does oh, anything. Yeah, and on. as soon as you touch the pedal, the car goes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have 25% of braking doing 100% of the work. That race car, get back to the trailer. Oh, oh, oh. You can do it. Are we being challenged? We might be. He did it. We got a trailer. Look at that. Okay, out. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. We have a whole bunch of uh, Jack Swag stuff here. A whole, a whole compliment. Whole assortment. A whole compliment. Yes. Yep. Yes. Thank you, Jack Swag. So check this out. So we used a little of this liquid. Carnuba, mm -hmm. and uh, well, got results. Okay. Ready? I don't think there was enough on there. <laughs> it's hard to tell on camera. Oh, wait. Is that a llama? Well, that, that, Is that came a llama? from... Look, wow. look at the color come out. It's hard to tell on camera, but there's... You, you can tell the difference camera. from this fender, which we haven't touched, oh. and that one. But you can actually... There's actually a reflection now over there. Over here, there's not. <laughs> okay. I'll see the car. Okay. Well, then... <laughs> I'll set it up. Yeah, there you go. Might as well. We what a successful productive day we had. Productive week really. I mean yeah. ever since we picked up the car. I mean and it's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. Who has Tuesday. productive Tuesdays? So we appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys are excited as we are to start working on this thing. And I mean we've already cleaned it up. Um, and you know we got it running today. It was awesome. So twenty two years. 22 years. 22 years, and we looked at the, the back license plate. The last time this was on the road was 91. So Nin yeah, 91. 91, so 33 years ago. Since it was street driven. Since it was on the street, which yeah. is really cool. And the same guy owned it the whole time. Uh, real quick, before we end the video, I wanna give a huge shout out to C&D Race Team Columbus. <laughs> yes. um, I will link their- Chapman uh, Brothers. Yes. <laughs> I will link their YouTube in the description. Um, they actually are the owners of the footage at the beginning of this video all the old footage from national trails back in the 90s of this car racing 
Um, I asked them, I was like, hey, do you guys have any footage of it? And they're like, well, let me look in the archives. So, and the next day they found it and they had four different videos. So it was just awesome. So thank you to uh, John Chapman and his Ray. nephew. And Ray, yep. yeah. Yep. Um, yep. Dominique and Ray, yeah. So if you guys could do it, like if the, the biggest favor you guys could do for us is if you guys could go check out their channel and subscribe because those guys just, deserve, they deserve the world and uh, it was awesome for them to let us use that footage. So we would really appreciate that. Yeah. Well, what's, what's the next step? We gotta get these brakes fixed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is a four wheel drum brake car. That's not gonna stay. And one of the four is working right now. So uh, it needs brakes, which is to be expected after expected. sitting this long. The it's good news is though, is we have the swap meet coming up at the end of the month. The indie swap meet that we attended for the last two or three years now um it's yeah. coming up and we got a big list that's for sure um so brakes uh the carburetor needs rebuilt i mean we got it running today but the carburetor needs some work it just needs all new gaskets and i know, I know a guy <laughs> yeah right yeah we all know a guy maybe uh, we can get an atm get one of those signature series ones Ooh. yeah uh you know and just gotta go over the car and just you know check it out uh, Make sure it's safe, and but beyond that, Get I don't know. What we're gonna, yeah, who knows what we're gonna do with this thing? I don't know, but it, it is it is a gem. It is it is a gem. Just, it's one of those deals where we just go and get it, and we'll think about what we do with it later. <laughs> you know, and you know, and hats off to Butch. What a great guy. I mean, I've known that guy for ever since the early '90s when we raced with each other and against each other. And just a super nice guy then. And, it was it was so much fun to catch up with him after you know 20 years or so. Honestly, I haven't talked to him, and and you know what? I'm honored to own his car. I really am. I mean, it's it's a it's been a real treat the whole thing uh, from the first time I went to look at it to to getting it fired up today. And I know he's going to enjoy this video as well. So it's it's been fun catching up with him, and these guys got to meet him. And you know, us old guys have some pretty funny stories. And, <laughs> and, uh, it's always it's always cool. So yeah, it's been I, great. I think it's found a, a good home. Yeah, we're gonna take care of it. Yeah. That's for sure. All right. Well, we appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I guess we'll see you in the next one. Dusty the duster, the duster. You know, like rusties from cars. Rusties. We name it dusty. Dusties. dusties. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I kind of like. Look that. how clean those are cleaned up. Metal polish. They 15s, but I keep them clean. <laughs> you can put a turbo right here. At least one. At least one. I mean, I'm, I can't believe you said a turbo. You're I sorry. reckon you could remove that battery tray. I reckon. And uh, put one there and put another did turbo. Did you say I there. reckon? He did. I think it would start up right now. You don't think so? Hey, good. I wouldn't want to really.